the squashes taste like squash! Hey, what's up, guys? Dane here, once again, for Plants vs. Zombies. What do we got? Last Stand. Wow. Looks like they got a little bit of everything. Oh, and I'm starting out with sun. Oh, I bet you I get to start out with that much sun, and that's it. I'm just going to assume that and uh, make sure I pick things that I think will kick some butt the whole the whole time so uh what choose wisely i want to yeah i gotta i want to pick some stuff that's just really gonna do a lot of damage because i like damage damaging <laughs> uh i'm playing plants versus zombies cuddles is barking again uh okay i think that should be good now let's see can i survive for five yep i bet you anything that's what it is so let's see how far $5,000 can get me. It can get me a lot of plants, but it won't even get me a jet ski. I wonder when that option is going to be available in the store. Because I still want that friggin' jet ski. Just mount some turrets on there. Man, zombies wouldn't even get close to the house. You know what I'm saying? Like a jet ski with turrets. I mean, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a real gun. We could put, um, like, the Gatling pea shooter thing on there. I mean, that would that would do some damage. I would think, anyways. The Gatling pea shooter jet ski. If you're listening, PopCap, that's the next weapon you want to have in Plants vs. Zombies 2. You got to have a jet ski. I wonder when that one's going to come out. All right, let's do this. Because I, I really want to play some Plants vs. Zombie 2. I'm kind of... I'm getting close to the end here. And uh, I want to be able to keep playing Plants vs. Zombies. And let it be known that if Plants vs. Zombies 2 comes out, I got dibs. No one else in the world gets to play it. I mean on YouTube. I own it. That's that's my game. You can't play it. And so far, I'm kicking some, some zombie butt. But it's still very early. I mean, we're still on the first uh, first flag. I think it said it, it said there was five flags. That's that's quite a few flags, and I'm assuming it's gonna get crazy. Just I can kind of tell just from I mean, eh, there's already a lot of zombies coming already. I think I made the right choice though, picking the the freeze freezo melons whatever, because it does heavy damage to everyone around them, and it freezes them, slows them down. So, and even though I can only fit one line, I mean, like I said, they, they damage everyone around them. So I think, I think I've got a good strategy. Uh, let's see. Here comes the huge wave. We shall find out. So what you guys up to? Anything fun? How about anything funky fresh? Are you, uh, are you eating a chocolate chip and pickle sandwich? If not, you should be. If you are, let me know in the comments below. I'll definitely give you thumbs if you uh, if you're eating a chocolate chip and pickle sandwich because that is quite the concoction. I'm I'm not sure how delicious that would be. You could try it first and then let me know. Let me know in the comments below how delicious a chickle a chickle chickle a chocolate chip sandwich and uh, with pickles on it. I can't talk. Let me know in the comments below. How is that? How is that sandwich? Is that a good sandwich? Ask for thumbs, millions of thumbs, trillions of thumbs, billions of thumbs! Wait, billions is smaller than trillions. Wait. I should have said that the other way. Too late now. It's in the past. So I can't I can't bring it back. Yes! Successfully defended one flag! And I got some more sun. What should I put down? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm not gonna have to do this, cause. That was quite the onslaught, and I have to i have to imagine it's only going to get worse, so... A lot of these zombies have crap on their heads and whatever that can get... You know, I can, I can steal away from them and make them more vulnerable to death. Death by melon. That'd be a terrible way to go. Death by melon. How about death by melon camp? <laughs> John melon camp, I mean. For those of you who didn't know what I was talking about. Moving on! There's an awkward silence there. No one was laughing. Apparently, Dane's not being funny enough today. What do you want me to do? I'm... I'm at a loss for words. Um... 
Let's, uh... Let's see. Let's tell a joke. How about that? It's, it it, it kind of feels like we're going to be in for a long haul here. So we might as well tell some jokes. How about that? All right. So uh, let's see. I got one. I got one. Okay. So there's uh, there's two there's two kids. Uh, one's, one's six years old and the other one's four years old. And uh, they're upstairs in their bedroom playing. And the six-year-old says to the four-year-old... I think it's a time I think it's about time we start swearing. And the four year old is like, Yeah, okay, let's do it. And so the six year old is like, Okay, so when we go down to have breakfast, I'm gonna say hell and you say ass. Alright? And the the four year old's like, Okay, let's do it. Totally. Um, they go downstairs and uh, get ready for breakfast and the mom asks uh, what they ask, she asks like, what do you guys want for breakfast? And the six-year-old says, "Oh hell, mom! I guess I'll have some Cheerios." And whack! Mom just backhands the kid. He goes flying across the, the kitchen floor, and she chases him out of the room and sends him to his room with a spanking. And uh, from the kitchen, you can just hear hear her screaming and yelling, and you know the kid is crying and all this stuff, and. Uh, she comes back. She comes. She comes back to the kitchen, and she looks at the four-year-old, and in a really stern voice, says, "And what do you want for breakfast, young man?" And the four-year-old says, "Oh, uh, I, I don't know, but you can bet your ass it won't be Cheerios." <laughs> Get it? Get it? That was kind of my uh, my annoying orange slash Dane laugh. It was kind of a mixture of both. Um, did you get it? You get it? He, he actually says ass, but he was, he, he thought that she was mad about the Cheerios. It's funnier when I have to explain it. I hope you're laughing right now. Um, <laughs> let me know if you got any good, any good jokes in the comment area below. Uh, and ask for thumbs. And, you know, tell us the joke, ask for thumbs, and then ask for pickles. And slinkies! Don't forget to ask for slinkies. Because those are awesome. And if you ask for slinkies, people will give you lots of thumbs in return. Because that's how people work. When you ask them for slinkies, they give you thumbs. I bet you didn't know this. And now you do. So next time you are traipsing around the YouTubes, start asking for slinkies. Along with pickles and parachute pants and parachute men. Just, you know, ask for all kinds of crazy crap. That's... That's that's how I roll. Don't just ask for thumbs. That's because that's boring. That's so 2010. It's 2011 now. You got to get with the program. You can't be asking for thumbs when you when you have a good comment. You gotta you gotta ask for much much more than that. You gotta stand out of the crowd. Ask for alligators. Ask for alligators with pimp hats. <laughs> Oh, that was lame. That was lame. I have a tendency to be lame every once in a while. Just a warning for you guys that uh, sometimes when I'm playing video games, I say stupid things. So, just a warning if you didn't know that already. If you're if you're a new viewer, ooh, son. If you're a new viewer, I just I'm gonna throw this out there right now. I have a tendency to say stupid things a lot. Wait, why did I? Ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have put. Okay, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Is it gonna happen? Mm, nope. That's okay though, because if I would have sneezed, I would have screamed. How do you? How do you sneeze? Uh, my brother and I both. Uh, when we sneeze, we like to scream. Uh, <laughs> it gives the element of surprise, you know, on, you know, honestly, you don't have to scream. I, you know, I don't have to scream when I sneeze. I just like to because it's hilarious to see other people's reactions when you're just hanging out. It's quiet in the room. You're watching TV, reading a book, whatever. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, when you're sitting next to someone and you, you, you like purposefully sneeze as loud as you can, it's kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. It's not funny if it happens to you. Like if you're the recipient, 
But oh my god, is it hilarious to watch other people freak out when you scream. <laughs> Just... <laughs> you should try it sometime. And then, you know, you, you can blame it, like... It's it, you're not just screaming. You actually sneeze. So you have a reason for sneeze for snelling snelling That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it snelling. It's sneeze yelling Do you do a lot of snelling? Wow, it's synchronized uh, Jack-in-the-box wind-up dudes <laughs> That's the technical term <laughs> Spring. All right guys, that's your mission. That's your mission for today is or in the next couple days the next time you have to sneeze just scream it just scream that sneeze just snell like scream and like <laughs> sneeze and yell I can't even get my terms right snelling <laughs> oh sneeze yelling good times but uh, yeah definitely definitely do that in the next couple days and let, let me know how it goes, because I think it'd be hilarious to know. And, and, ooh, even better, if you can get it on video, post it on YouTube, and then... <laughs> we should start a whole new trend. That would be awesome, because, you know, every once in a while, there there's, like, a new trend. Like, for a while, everybody was doing the, the cinnamon challenge, where you try and eat a spoonful of cinnamon. And everybody, every freaking everybody was doing that and uploading the videos of it. Like, we should do Snelling. That should become a thing. <laughs> Sneeze yelling. And then just get a video, you know, video yourself. Snelling someone. And like, watching them freak out. And then upload it to YouTube. Let's make this a thing. You guys start it. Just email me when you actually get the, uh, when you get your video uploaded. And then maybe I'll tweet it out. Not maybe, I will. Because Snelling is awesome. Even though I just came up with that term, that's that's what I'm gonna call it. All right, unless someone else already came up with that term, I, I you know I might be full of crap. I don't even know. You, you probably go on Urban Dictionary and it's probably listed there already. I'm probably like five years late to the party. Who knows? Wow, that's a that's a lot of zombies. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good though. I, I'm feeling like I've got a good. Defense and offensive system. Oh gosh, there's even more. Um, all right, let's see. Oh crap, they're breaking through. Break all the rule to the other side. Right time. Give me fuel. Give me fire. Give me that which I desire. Huh. Yeah. Ooh, crystal. <laughs> To flip back and forth between the the James Hetfield voice and the uh, the the slightly effeminate voice, it's quite the contrast, I have to say. I'd like to hear someone sing a Metallica song in the the slightly effeminate voice because <laughs> that'd be that'd be actually kind of funny. So hey, next time you're doing karaoke, that's your mission. That's your mission. Sing a Metallica song in a slightly effeminate voice. I think that could be good times. Not offensive at all. <laughs> yeah, don't actually do that. I was, I was joking. Don't do it. You might offend somebody. Um, I got a trophy. I guess what I'm gonna put in it? Secrets. <laughs> wow, I am in a weird mood. All right, you guys got your mission. Go do some Snelling videos and upload them to YouTube, and then let me know on Twitter. When you've uploaded them, because then I'll tweet them out. All right, guys, until next time, say no drugs, say yes to snelling!